from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. All right. I was going to do this as a Old Mates Q&A and advice video, but decided to go down the route of a coffee chat video instead because I'm a little bit worried about a viewer's skewed idea of the difference between a utility mixer and a dead set recording console. That time of the week here at Backyard Tech. Time for a coffee chat. Hey, uh, how's it going? Pro Audio Coffee Chat time here at Backyard Tech for a Friday, and this comes off the back of an email I got from a viewer, what, last Thursday by the name of J.I. Jai? Or well, whatever. Um, Hi, just noticed you've got a utility mixer in the background of your video. I'm just curious, what is the utility mixer, and is it a good one for a noob to start out with? Now, I had to email them back and ask them which video they were watching, and it was one of the old videos from the iMac days, one of the old audio videos from the iMac days. And they're referencing my Yamaha O2R. Well, Jai or J.I. or whatever your name is, um, I don't mean to be rude or nasty, but, mate, you're a roo short in the top paddock if you think the O2R is a utility mixer. Um... Geez, I wouldn't let you anywhere near a recording studio if that's the case. Okay. A utility mixer is, well, for example, I'll give you a classic example of a utility mixer. Exhibit A, Your Honour. A Behringer Eurodesk. Now, this one's, what's this one again? This one's a 16 channel or 14 channel two stereo bus. All right. This is what I would call a utility mixer, all right? The O2R is not a utility mixer. It's a fully fledged DRC, digital recording console, capable of being hooked into both Tascam and Alesis digital tape recorders. Um, no, I would not recommend it for a noob. Not in any way, shape or form, especially considering you're talking about a mixing console that has a 99 scene memory capacity, digital I.O. configuration, integration with Alesis, and it can be flipped. Not upside down, you idiots. Any tech head knows the difference between flipping and not flipping channels. Um, I mean, you're talking about a 16-channel, four-stereo bus recording console with multiple UGS, auxiliary sends and receives, effects returns, which your average utility mixer does not have, plus the ability for multiple I.O., etc., and talkback stuff. So I'm, I'm a little bit worried if you, if you think the O2R is a utility mixer. Most utility mixers also don't have... Um, a meter bridge, a fully fledged meter bridge with tape return monitoring, multiple IQ set, uh, multiple EQ settings, no IQ, EQ. So look, JI or Joy or whatever your name is, pal, no, you're wrong. You need to learn the basics very much first. And I can only recommend one magazine to go and learn the basics of stuff. And that's a magazine I used to buy religiously. SOS. Sound on sound. For those that don't know. Although most tech heads would know sound on sound anyway. Um, look, I don't mean to be rude, mate, but the fact that you saw the O2R in the background and instantly made an assumption that it is a utility mixer. There are recording studios around the world that actually use them as a 16-track recorder professional studios okay you've also got to remember that has midi midi through as well so you can actually use it as a midi system for a synth so instead instead of plugging the synth through the the mic michael line you can plug the midi out straight through it um i'm, I'm 
look, J.I. or J.I. or whatever your name is, you've got a lot to learn. And no, I don't think it is good for a noob. I mean, that that's like saying, oh, you know, you walk into a recording studio and you see an SSL console. Not SSL certificate, you idiots. Solid State Logic console. Very famous through the 80s and 90s. Even I know that. You know, I'd... I'd I shudder to think if you were to sit this person down in front of an SSL or a Neve or a Neotech or a Harrison or whatever, or a large Allen and Heath, even a freaking eight bin focus right. So JI, no, that is not a utility mixer. It is a fully fledged studio quality digital mixing desk that has the capability of both running in the analog domain. So XLR, quarter inch, etc and the digital domain so you can not just record on it you can mix on it as in mix down from 16 to 2 or you know what is she she's 16 with four stereo bus all right so 24 channels and you can mix that down to two if you want so I'm a little concerned you've got your wires crossed there, fella. Assuming it's a fella. I shouldn't make that assumption. I have no idea. But the majority of my viewers are male. Um, I'm worried because I've got this horrible... See, Behringer, for a long time, and this is my... What model is this one? This is Eurodesk MX2004A. All right, this is what I would call a mic line utility mixer. All right, it's lightweight. It can be used in like a, I've used the MX series in garage bands before and recording and that sort of stuff. Often the utility mixer is analog. You know, the old Tascam decks. You remember those, you know, four channel, four track. That would be a utility mixer or a Soundcraft or a Yamaha, a Yamaha, the old 5U rack mount mixing desk, you know, that you'd bolt into a rack of gear. That's a utility mixer as far as I'm concerned. But when you're talking about like a Yamaha, Tascam, Allen & Heath, Behringer's bigger consoles, um, Neve, SSL, Neotech, Harrison, even even Pro Tools' DAW mixing console. They're not utility. They're, they're, they're fully-fledged consoles. That's what the O2R is designed for. The O2R is designed to go into, like, you know, a three-studio recording complex. And, you know, you might have it as a little 16-track studio to, a you know, two eight-track digital recorders or... A, um, you know, or even three eight-track digital recorders. You know, like an Elisus or a Tascam or something like that, right? Especially if you want to run the four stereo buses. But no, the, the Yamaha is not a utility mixer. I, I can say that with some authority, pal. Um... You know, that, that I was a little bit miffed by that email. Now, in, further on in the email, they go on, what's your preferred digital recording format? And I'm obviously a Lesis. I won't touch Tascam. I'm going to have all the Tascam lovers howl on me now. I don't like the Tascam digital recorders, digital tape recorders, especially the 38 and 88 series. But listen, J.I. or J.I. or whatever your name is, the, I recommend you go and read SOS first before you start claiming that the Yamaha is a utility mixing desk. I mean, the O2R is world famous. All right, it's not like SSL or Harrison or Neve or Neotech or, or, or Allen & Heath or some of Tascam's big, big um, recording, focus right. You know, stuff like that. It's not up there with that. I mean, it's not a large floor-bolted mixing desk. 
what it's designed to be do is dropped into a custom built deck desk to sit there with two Yamaha NS10s on either side of it okay and 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 a couple of reference speakers with some OB gear or or straight into you know Pro Tools for Windows or Pro Tools for Mac or something probably Pro Tools for Mac more than Windows but whatever um so no you 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 <laughs> I hate to say it pal you are wrong um, you've got to remember with the O2R, you're talking about a 99 scene programmable memory console. So you can have 99 different memory, you know, it's got 99 memory locations. Each memory location can, you know, save different information. A utility mixer doesn't necessarily, I'm not saying they don't. Behringer's 24 channel, uh, the other half's parents' church, that's a utility mixer, even though it has effects channels in it. Not that the effects channels are much good, but that's personal opinion. So, you know, no. You, you, a utility mixer is normally, and I say normally, around 8 to 12 channels with maybe one or two stereo buses. Maybe one or two stereo buses. And normally they don't necessarily have, you know, graphic EQs or, or, or they might have a, a small five-band graphic, you know. Um, but no, I would not, under no circumstances would I call the Yamaha O2R a utility mixer. It is a fully fledged digital recording console. It's basically a studio grade mixing desk. That, that, that's what it is. And as far as digital recording is concerned, um, if it's not the hard drive, Give me an Alesis A dad over a Tascam any day, and any idiot knows that. I'm sorry, I'm just not keen on Tascam stuff. You know, I've used. I've got to think what it was. It's a Tascam. I think it was a 24 channel, two stereo bus desktop mixer. What I mean by desktop mixer is you just sit it on like a trestle table or something. It can be used for both outdoor, you know, stuff and indoor stuff. Oh, you could probably even use it as a foldback if you're a foldback engineer, right? Uh, don't ask me what foldback is. If you've ever been to a concert or you understand audio, you know what foldbacks are. Um, so essentially... I've used that, and I've used a whole Tascam rig in the past as well. I hated it. But, I mean, look, what was our other question? Um, P.S. When it comes to tape recording in the digital realm, is it Tascam, Alesis? Yeah, it's Alesis for me. I've had arguments like with MV5 and that over Alesis ADATs, which, as we know, are super VHS recorders. I know that, and I've had the pleasure, and I've got to say, it is a pleasure to use them over a freaking DA38 or 88 out of Tascam. Oy vey, they are terrible machines. I'm going to have all the Tascam people hating on me on that, and all the Elisus people agreeing with me. That's a rarity. Um, but look, I, I mean, you... You need to really, if you're going to start out and you're new to recording, no, you don't want a Yamaha until you've got the basics. The other thing you've got to remember is most of your utility mixers are, um, um, are basically a straight bus off the outs. Okay. A Yamaha O2R is digital. Literally. Even the EQ is digital. Okay. Okay. But it's still a fully fledged studio accredited studio purposed recording console. It's designed to be used for recording. Not necessarily mastering. It can be it can be used for mixing. So JI, can I make a suggestion, pal? Or Joy or whatever your name is. Um get SOS, read it. I, I used to by SOS religiously. To me, it was a Bible, along with, um, I think it used to be called Pro Audio World or something. I can't remember. Oh, I used to buy that as well. Okay. So, essentially, right, 
You need to know the difference. And no, an O2R is not for a noob. You might want to go and buy one, but if you haven't got an understanding of audio, I wouldn't recommend an O2R to start off with. I'd recommend something like a freaking, I don't know, if you can find one, a Soundcraft. If you can find one, you know, a Soundcraft utility mixer or even a freaking Tascam 8 channel, 8, eight mono channel, not necessarily having stereo bus out. Sorry, stereo bus in. Of course, it's going to have stereo bus out. Otherwise, it's like one of those freaking... Who remembers those horrific Toa systems? Hang on a minute. My phone's vibrating. All right, sorted that problem out. Anyway, those horrific Toa, right, mic mixers. Now, we've, we've seen them before, right? It looks like a freaking, you know, about that high eight combo quarter inch XLR plugs in with a mono bus out with with horrific S to N and THD but look I would say Jai or J-I however you pronounce your name mate I don't mean to be rude by saying you're a rue short in the top paddock about the difference between a utility mixer and a proper console but I would suggest you start out with a traditional analog mixing desk, um, uh, analog mixing utility mixer, before you start looking into the digital stuff, and understand your 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 basics first. Um, I mean, I've done like the Yamaha can do grouping, it can do pairing, it can do all that type of stuff. A utility mixer doesn't always have that capacity. Okay, it's like with a, uh, who is it, um, Neve, right, or SSL or someone like that, where you can bust the, group the channels together to make one stereo bus off four channels, right? A utility mixer doesn't always have that capability. A recording console does, all right? A utility mixer doesn't always have a built-in patch bay. A recording console probably does. Now, the Yamaha doesn't, but what it does have is multiple auxiliary sends and receives. Send and receives, yeah. Right? Auxiliary send, sorry, send and returns. Send and receives? No. Send and returns. And depending on whether they're half or full normal returns, well, they're full normal sends, so, look, I, I don't mean to be rude by saying you're a roo short in the top paddock if you think the O2R is a utility mixer. All right. My recommendation is if that's what you believe, I'll be honest. If I ran a recording studio, pal, you wouldn't be allowed anywhere near it. You know, I mean, I've had... I was, thinking, I was talking to a mate of mine yesterday who used, to, along with myself, we both were recording engineers. He was a digital engineer. I was an analog, or well, more analog than digital. And he no longer works in the industry either. He's gone down, um, he's in um, real estate now. But he's had the he's had the opportunity to use a, use a Neve desk, a Neve console, and reckons it beats the pants off Harrison. You know, I beg to differ on that. I've seen the Neve console he's talking about. It doesn't beat, it doesn't beat a Harrison. But J.I. or whatever your name is, can I make a suggestion? Start out with something like this first before you migrate to a digital DRC. Or uh, digital, digital. Start out with that before you start getting into the recording consoles because I got a funny feeling you can't tell the difference. All right? I don't mean to be rude, but... <laughs> I've been playing around with Pro Audio since I was six years old. Okay? Recording consoles, outboard gear, recorders. You know, the old half-inch four-track. Stuff like that. Mic preamps. Power amps. You know, that sort of stuff. Obviously, the Yamaha 
5000 power amp is one of my loved power amps so look i i think you you got your wires crossed pal sorry <laughs> you you, you got to look i recommend go and read sos first um as far as utility mixes oh, forget tascam a and h Behringer, Yamaha, if you can find one, or you're going to pay for it. Um, find one, maybe, I think Alan and Heath have got one that has, it's a utility mixer, but it has does have digital I.O. All right. The other thing is the, the O2R is full MIDI. Okay. Um, now, admittedly, the O2R does not have channel strip EQ, at least down the channel strip as we've seen before on the O2R. Everything is done through the digital interface. But you are talking also, in some cases, not all, but some cases, utility mixers won't even have phantom power for microphones. The O2R does have plus 48 volts on it. On, what was it, channels one to eight? is it yeah channels one to eight can take phantom powered mics so there we go coffee chat for friday stick around more pro audio stuff coming up soon have a good one